as you begin to move through the labyrinth again, you find yourself moving through almost like uh, animal burrows. Uh, Lady Garbage is once more on her on her hedge beast, and you find yourself in um, in a clearing in which a strange device stands silently in a small clearing in the maze. A huge lens pointed at the sun. The collected light is focused into a beam that is directed straight down into a prism that splits it into the colors of the rainbow, which illuminate the stone tiles beneath the device in a narrow band. Uh, around the device are positioned six glass spheres on pedestals. Oh, it's glass, Jim. So each of these pedestals has a uh, has a glass orb um, which match the six colors of light each glass globe is firmly attached to its pedestal um, for now and you see that the, this these are the um, beams of light here we have to move the beams um, the device itself looks uh, heavy and fragile um, and the all the colors are sort of on this bit here um, we need mirrors. So yes, what would you like to do? You need mirrors. Are the pedestals m movable? The pedestals are stuck in the ground, made of stone, and they are quite firmly attached to the ground. Fair enough. And that thing in the middle doesn't rotate, or it's just very nope. heavy? it's a big lens. So you see this, this here is the lens in which light is going into these bits here. And then it is being refracted into like a rainbow of colours down here. The six beams of light match the six coloured um, orbs, glass orbs on the pedestals. Can I look around for some more items? Uh, They're yes, glass uh, orbs, though. Do a do a spotting spot. Yes, they the orbs are glass. So they don't have to stay on the pedestal. Um, so they were firmly attached. <clears throat> as you look around, um, you see just here. Um, is a map of the local area, but it's so fiendishly complicated that it would take probably a while to figure out how to, how to make it look, but there are no actual other items. Mm, it's just a map of the labyrinth. That's useless. The labyrinth changes. Can I draw on it? With what? I don't know, my finger. Yeah, I mean, it probably won't leave a mark, but you could probably find, find some mud somewhere and just sort of mud print it. Does it change anything in the labyrinth if I do that? No. Oh, okay, I'll just throw the map away. It's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's made of stone on the floor. You can't pick it up. Okay, I'll just just sit on it then. <laughs> okay. Can I investigate the device in the middle? Mm-hmm. The device is just this large, complicated series of lenses that is taking the sunlight and refracting it into the 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 beams here. It doesn't look like it has any like obvious movable parts. It looks very solid, heavy, and fragile. Okay. That's what I was saying. I think we need a mirror, but I don't have a mirror, and we haven't found a mirror. The colors are <clears throat> red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, and that's the same colors that all of the glass orbs are. What if I cover a orb with something? Would we'll like, um take off a bit of your clothing and just cover the orb. Yeah. What well, does yeah. anything? Does anything happen to the the light? Nope. The the light doesn't touch these orbs. They're they're just. No, sort I of know. Like... But if I cover the orb, does it affect the light on the floor? Nope. Okay. What if you cover the thing that's emitting the light? The big lens. Hmm. Over here. Well, I think Mido would be the only person tall enough to be able to sort of raise his arms in a way that would block the light. But if he does so, you'll find that it just stops the coloured beams coming out the other side. Can I attempt to move some of the, gla the glass balls? Using your glass moving ability. Mm -hmm. Yep, you basically, as you can control glass, you basically just put your hand on it and just sort of talk to the glass and say, can you let go of that pedestal, please, in whatever way that you do, and it just pops straight off. Neat. So I think we each need to hold, each take two orbs and hold, hold them in their corresponding light beams. Well, you could the the light beams shine onto the floor, so you could just put. Okay, the got it. Yeah, so uh, take each orb and put it in the corresponding light beam. Yep. As you put the first orb down, uh, you notice that the uh, the map that. Um, 
the latrine was sitting on begins to like it's color in in a certain time. manner. You're still sitting on. You just see glowing light. I need to move, latrine. Shine around her bum. <laughs> I stand up. Yep. And as you put the rest of the orbs in the place, it shows you a a, a quite well detailed map that you can use in order to uh, to continue on your way and get out of this this part of the hedge maze. Oh, that's very interesting. I'm sorry I doubted you, Mr. Map, but I'll just, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. I can't take it with me. No, you, you just have to memorize it. Oh, no. But th that's, <laughs> that, that's the end of this puzzle. It basically means you okay. can now progress. Um, if you didn't have, if it wasn't for the fact that, that uh, Meidel has glass moving, you would have had to break things to make this work. Yeah. As you begin to uh, to move around uh, this part of the labyrinth, uh, the, you can see like there's lots of like piles of compost where things are are sort of beginning to grow, um, and like the uh, you know there's it's quite sunny and shiny and warm in this part of the labyrinth, but. Yeah, you see lots of compost as you arrive at a sapling nursery. Uh, the labyrinth gardens are populated with countless species of peculiar plant life, from orchid to mandrake. Nestled away in the heart of the hedge maze is a nursery filled with botanical babes of a hundred different plants. Um, as you enter this area, the nursery is in utter chaos. Um, the uh, caretaker has her leaves fall, so I imagine she's not a person. <laughs> Um, now her actual physical babies. Uh, the nursery is currently bustling with saplings, rushing about, screaming and crying. <laughs> um, I want to steal one. So there are, in this area here, is where the saplings line up to sing. And there is a sapling there who's singing at the moment. There is a pile of uh, boxes here, um, which have. Um, which are full of loamy soil in where the saplings are supposed to nap. Um, uh, this here is a greenhouse. Uh, and this person here, this is Madam Aloe. She's a large aloe vera who is in charge. Uh, there are so many saplings clambering over her, crying and yelling that she can't really see anything beyond them. Okay, well, um, I'll pick one up and I'll start singing, You remind me of the babe! <laughs> the power! The power of the... It, it's still still crying and screaming. Well, I'm um, like bouncing everything, <laughs> doing everything right. So as you begin to sing to this uh, this sapling that you pick up, uh, you notice that there's a sapling over here that's singing to itself. Um, it's a phlox, whatever that is, um, and it's going la lu li la lo la le lo, and then he can't remember what the next line is, then he just keeps repeating it. Lady Allo, la la lo. If uh, if Chantel wants to roll a a check with advantage because you're good at singing. Right here we go. So you get to roll twice. Sing the right oh, Chantel. The roll again. Oh, you want a six straight away? You don't need to, uh, six Ooh, is the highest wow, you can do. Really Double cool. sixes. Um, you know that song immediately. Um, and begin to, um... la 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 um, Chantel can sort of sit here and sing to them and keep them all entertained for a, for a moment. Yeah. Um, at which point, um, at which point, uh, Lady Allo sort of can like see a bit better as as the saplings all go there, uh, and she sort of looks at the other ones and says, "Please, the greenhouse, find some tools and tuck tuck the saplings into bed, and I will let you pass." Okay, I'll run into the greenhouse. Mhm. Mm um. What tools are there? <laughs> There's all sorts. You quite quickly find uh, a spade um, that's new, and it's uh, it's sentient. Oh my god, I got a sentient spade! You pick up a spade and it says, Hello, let's start digging! What, what? 
Okay, would you like to dig some beds for these little tired ones? That would be lovely, thank you. Let's do it, madam! And, uh, and you, you now have a, a sentient spade in your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> of all the things I could roll. <laughs> um, and you, you dig little little uh, gardens for the for the saplings, um, and you basically, as they sing, some of them get tired, and you sort of like pick them up and tuck them into bed. Um, and Lady Allo sort of like uh, has like a nice sigh of, of relief and sort of like shuffles out of the way and uh, allows you to progress in the labyrinth. That was a nice, <laughs> easy, easy one. We were all a sentient spade of all bloody things. And I get things. to keep that. Yeah. Oh, it's my new best friends. What's your name, sentient spade? I'm Digby! And at lovely. that, you leave, um, as you continue to travel, you manage to find your way out of the hedge maze and into the land of yore.